Hey, this is Doug Upsall for Doc Sports, and this pick is for Sunday in the NFL for Week 6, and it's a beauty. That's for sure. You can count on that. So, hey, looking forward to another big uh, weekend of NFL football. I have a five-pack ready to go, and included in there is a seven-unit best bet, and you can pick them all up at the Doug Upsall page at Doc Sports today. You can get all five, or you can just get the best bet. Well, hey, whatever works out best for you, that's what I want you to do. And so, uh, looking forward, though, to a, a big week uh, coming off of three in one week, so We've got some little momentum starting to get ourselves going, get back on track like we normally do have winning football seasons. And so that's what the plan is to do exactly that this upcoming week. And so uh, fired up for that. We've got Major League Baseball possibly too on uh, Sunday. Let's see where the uh, where the playoffs sit come Sunday morning, see what games are available. And if there's something good, you know I'm going to fire on it because I've been red hot in baseball, not only in the playoffs going back to last year, but also since September 1st. So we've got a lot of great baseball action coming your way and see if we can get you some more winners on that. So, so all in all, Good stuff. Looking forward to it. And, and if you've never been to Docs, you can get $60 worth of free plays. Okay, so some, what I'm talking to you about right now, you can get some free play action going. And uh, so I go to my page, sign up on the up in a, on the red box in the upper left-hand corner. Fill that out. Take you no time at all. And you will you can sign up and get $60 of free plays if you have never done it before. All right, let's talk about today's free play, or about Sunday's free play, excuse me, with the, and it's a beauty, the Buffalo Bills at the Kansas City Chiefs. It's going to be, uh, it's the most anticipated game of the year. It might end up being the, maybe even the best game of the year. And we remember last week, or last year, excuse me, 38 weeks ago to be exact, uh, on, on Sunday, the overtime classic in the playoffs between the Chiefs and the Bills with the Chiefs winning 42 to 36. Now, both teams come in with Super Bowl ambitions, and this game might have a, might be a deciding factor in terms of who ends up with the number one seed. Now, with Josh uh, Allen and Patrick Mahomes, we know the points are going to flow. Okay, that's just a given. Okay, the defense is what they're looking to do. They're looking to hold the other team to field goals, generate some turnovers, and if that's the case, if they can get some turnovers, they, that's about the only way they're going to slow these teams down because both are averaging over 30 points per game. Now, Allen and Buffalo, <clears throat> they're taking the top off the opposing defenses with deep throws to the likes of Gabe uh, Davis and uh, Stefan Diggs. Uh, both, though, can, are also excellent catching underneath passes, so that creates a lot of extra space to where the other receivers and uh, Devin Singletary, the running back, can also run routes and Allen can find them. Now, the th I think Sean McDermott still isn't pleased uh, so much to have Allen running as much as he is. He's the leading rusher on the team so far. And last year at the end of the season, they got away from that. I think you'll start to see them look to do that again, not use him so much in the running game to expose him to possible injuries. Now, Kansas City, they come into this one. They're a different offense without Tyreek Hill. No question about it, but they're no less effective. That's the key. Uh, the chunk plays aren't maybe as plentiful, but they're still moving the change at chains as well as ever. You know, using Travis Kelsey, Juju Smith, Schuster, uh, Marquise Valdez, Scanling, McCall Hardman. I mean, the works. Okay, this, this is just a dangerous team for sure. And then you add in Clyde Edward, Clyde Edwards Hilaire, and you know the passing game, the running game. It just all works with him at, with uh, Mahomes at the controls. So this will be the fifth skirmish in just over three years between these uh, football titans, and the fourth time they're playing in the land of barbecue. Now on the surface you would think it would favor Kansas City. And the opening odds for this one opened at a pick em, but Buffalo quickly moved up to minus two and then up to minus either two and a half or three. Now, no question, picking a winner on this one is not easy because the offensive capabilities of both clubs, their ability to come back seemingly no matter what the deficit is, and this one, but for my money, I'm looking back at Buffalo, knowing that they should have won, okay, the postseason game back in January. And this time, for sure, they have the better defense. Now, I think what's going to ultimately happen is that Allen will lead his team to more touchdowns and the defense will bend but not break. And I think they're going to end up with a hard-fought victory over the Kansas City Chiefs. So give me Buffalo minus the points for this free pick. Okay, so that's what I got for you for today. West Coast Wise Guys Play will be available in the comment section, so you can check that out on, on the uh, Doc's YouTube channel and find that. I'll have that for you. What would, would get closer to the – this is actually being filmed at, before Sunday, so when I have some more stuff, I can take care of that for you. 
get you that West Coast Wise Guy play because I know you love it from that standpoint. And why wouldn't you with, with how well they've been doing? Uh, the other thing I wanted to let you know is that, again, five pack coming for, for football, NFL Sunday. So check that out. Pick, get all of them or the best bet. Like I said, whatever works best for you. So no video on Monday. But I'll be back on Tuesday with more with another video. So this is Duck Up Zone for Doc Sports. Until next time, I'm out.